In this video, we're going to be talking about circular motion and cars turning corners. So to be honest with you, this video isn't exactly about the physics behind making a car stop. It's more about the physics behind making a car change direction, but it's a very important branch of physics for you to be introduced to. So as a car turns a corner, it can turn a corner at a constant speed, and even though it turns the corner at a constant speed, it still experiences an acceleration. Now this is because even though its speed is constant, its velocity is not constant. Because velocity has a magnitude and a direction. So imagine a car as shown in this diagram. It starts off travelling in the northerly direction, turns around a corner and ends up going to the east. In this case, the car experiences an acceleration to change its direction from north to east. So let's calculate the acceleration felt by the car now. So the car is travelling at 40 kilometres per hour around the bend, and we're told that the bend has a radius of 50 metres. So here's the diagram showing the car it's initially travelling in a northerly direction and at the end it's travelling in an easterly direction. And what we need to do is find the acceleration. So to do this, we're going to need to go back to the definition of what acceleration is. Acceleration is the change in velocity or the rate of change in velocity. So we've got that the acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity over the time taken for that change to occur. This will give us the average acceleration. So in order to do this, we know its final velocity, it's 40 kilometers per hour to the east. We will eventually need to convert that into meters per second. We may as well do that now. V is equal to 40 kilometers per hour, which is equal to 40 times 1,000 meters over 60 times 60 seconds. So this is equal to 11.11 meters per second. So now we know its final velocity is to the east and its initial velocity is to the north. What we need to do is work out the time. Now in order to work out the time, we're going to need to use a bit of circle geometry. If you've forgotten circle geometry, it's worth re revising. I've put a link to the Khan Academy at the bottom of this video where they cover simple circle geometry. So we've got a circle here. It's In this case, the car is traveling quarter of the circle, so this part here. The circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So we know that it's traveling a quarter of this circumference, so the distance is equal to 2 pi r on 4, which is equal to, we can cancel this 2 with that 4, and we end up with 2. So this is pi times 50, because the radius we were told was 50 meters over 2. And solving that on the calculator, we get a distance of 78.5 meters. So we know the distance that's gone from there to there is 78.5 meters. To get the time, we know its speed because it's always traveling with the same speed. It's just the velocity which is changing because the direction's changing. So time is equal to the distance over the speed. So that's equal to 78.5 over 11.11, which tells us that it takes 7.0655 seconds to go around this corner. So let's substitute everything in now. Now what we need to remember is that these are vectors here. So we've got that the acceleration is equal to 1 over the time, which is 1 over 7.065. And then we've got the final velocity, which is to the east. So this is 11.11 in this direction minus the initial velocity, which is 11.11 in the northerly direction. Now remember, when we're dealing with vectors, if we have a negative vector, what we can do is flip the direction of the vector and make it 
positive. So this is going downwards and it's still got the same magnitude 11.11 and this one's 11.11. And now we do know how to add vectors. To add vectors we simply draw them head to tail. So this is 1 over 7.065 outside of the vector sum of these. So we draw this first one 11.11 and then the second one we add on head to tail so it goes down 11.11 and this here is our resultant. Now what's nice is that these are at 90 degrees to each other as this one here is going east and this one here is now going south and if these two are equal we know these angles are equal so that's 90 there's 180 degrees in a triangle so 90 plus 45 plus 45 adds up to the 180. So we know that this angle in here, if we call it theta, theta is equal to 45 degrees. We've already got our angle. Now what we need to do is work out this side. So let's clear ourselves some space. We'll continue over here. And so in order to work out the length of this side, we use Pythagoras' theorem. It's the square root of the sum of the squares of the other two sides. And so solving that on the calculator, we end up with 15.71. So we know this magnitude now. So the magnitude of the acceleration is equal to the 15.71 over the time, which is the 7.065. And so this is equal to 2.2 meters per second per second is our acceleration. And then it, acceleration is a vector, so we need to use this to give a direction. And so that's down here, halfway between. And so that is in the southeast direction, in the southeast direction. So we've now calculated the acceleration of that car going around the corner. And note how the average acceleration is in a direction towards the center of the curve here.